Hey folks, this is Kyle Vile coming at you with another video. I haven't made it another video in a while, um, but I definitely have plenty of things to say. I've been spending time with the Lord. He's been revealing some things to me, um, building up, and I want to give a word of encouragement, of enlightenment. Um, I want to keep this ongoing because really this is just a warm up of what's to come. Um, and so right now, I know the world is kind of, I told it, I said it too in a previous video, I said that the world is going to be at unease um, because of the things of the world. And so the Bible will actually talk about there is a spirit of the world, um, which is not of God's spirit, um, because God's spirit is the Holy Spirit. And that's what you want. You want the Holy Spirit. You want relationship with the Holy Spirit. But we only have the Holy Spirit because of what Jesus did on the cross for us. Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we may also receive salvation and eternal life. And we can receive it now by the power of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is God's Spirit. And we have access to the Holy Spirit because of Jesus. So that is the foundation of... Um, of our faith and connection and relationship with God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and the earth, of everything. God Almighty, El Shaddai, Yahweh, Jehovah, Elohim. He has some names. Jesus, just to point out to you, Jesus, um, the Jews will call him Yeshua because they actually don't say the J in Hebrew. Um, with the J is Y, and Yeshua is his name. But also, if you look a little deeper, Jesus' name is actually Yehoshua, which is also Joshua. Joshua is actually Jesus, Yehoshua, Yeshua. And Jesus' name, Yehoshua, also means Yahweh is salvation. So in the name of Jesus is the name of God is salvation. Yahweh is salvation. Okay. Why did I bring that up? I don't know. I didn't even plan that. Um, but that's a little nugget. Actually, it's a big nugget for you receiving um, who Jesus is. There is so much more we can discern about Jesus. It goes so much deeper that most people don't realize most people even joke around about the name of Jesus, but the name of Jesus is the highest name of all names. His name is exalted. He is the only one who is truly worthy. Um, he is King. He is Lord and Savior, Jesus. Uh, he is one with God. He is the Son of God and one with God, and he did the perfect will of God. Um, and the kingdom of God belongs to him. It says in the Bible that God put everything under Jesus' feet. Everything has been given to Jesus. So everything that he um, say, says goes. But they're also one. And so as I, as I was studying 1 Corinthians chapter 15 today, um, Paul t talks about the future and about the destiny of Jesus. So Jesus has a kingdom. This kingdom is God's kingdom, but this kingdom is ruled by the King Jesus. Jesus is truly the King. He's not a prophet. He's not just a person. He's not just a scholar, as some other religious groups of people and uh, their opinions say. Um, but according to the Word of God in the New Testament written by Paul, um, Paul discussed in 1 Corinthians he was actually writing letters to the, the Church of Corinth. Um, and he was actually foreseeing the future. And essentially, um, what we have is that Jesus, Jesus' kingdom is going to be coming under submission. Everything is actually going to come under submission to God's kingdom, the kingdom of Jesus. And Jesus is king. And so that submission of everything, the powers, the rulers, um, the authorities of this world is actually going to come under the submission of Jesus. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord over all. 
And so you definitely want to be on the right side, the winning side, the kingdom that is going to be established forever and ever because God always wins. Um, and a lot of people have a big problem with this, but that's because, you know, you have to have an experience with the one true king. Um, where am I going with this? So, I know there's a lot of fear around the coronavirus and this spreading rapidly. And this was prophesied too before all this stuff has begun is that we're actually living in a time where there's going to be record breaking of many things. Oh, by the way, there's going to be a record breaking of somebody having a lot of children at once. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for that story to come out. Um, but we Christians actually know the true future. Not psychics, not these spiritualists. It's actually in Christianity that we have prophecy um, and the prophetic teachings and we have pro prophets, prophets today. Prophets weren't just in the back of the day, we actually have prophets today and you can actually access the gift of prophecy by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives you the gift of prophecy. Um, and so when you come into relationship, when you become sensitive to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit trusts you and tells you some things, um, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, um, the future is that all the kingdoms are going to be actually handed over um, in submission to Jesus. And through Jesus, all, all things are going to be um, given back to God. And then God is actually going to fill everyone and everything with himself. And so we really truly become one with God uh, for e all eternity. But those who do not accept Jesus as Lord is not going to be able to partake in this eternal kingdom, unfortunately. So it is very important that the word of God gets out, that people have at least a chance to know the kingdom of God because it'll say in that uh, same chapter actually and throughout the New Testament talking about um, this body um, is part of the fallen world that we live in. This world is a fallen world. It's a, in a state of, um, uh, of corruption, really, um, because of evil has entered the world. God, when you get to know the character of God and you actually read the Bible, you'll know that God is a good God. He only wants good things. He reinforces blessings. He only wants good things for you. Um, but if you choose to disobey, to turn away from him, you're actually inviting curses into your life. You're inviting sin. Even sinning um, is actually sinning against God. And um, and what those sins do, it actually opens a portal um, and doors for the demonic, for evil spirits to harass you, for Satan to have a stronghold in your life. And not only in your own life, but it's poss very possible that your whole family gets under bondage because of sin and um and that open door so you need the, the door to be only open to the holy spirit and that comes with relationship and knowing jesus christ as lord and savior so god is good there's a coronavirus going on because that's the reinforcement of a curse of the fallen world of whatever goes on um is in and spirits are actually reinforcing this uh, virus. So yes, it's manifesting in the natural. Um, and actually looking at the term disease, we find out that disease is actually um, distance from ease. So we're actually supposed to live in ease, but disease is distance from ease. So now we have disease. Um, Jesus wants to heal you. Jesus wants to heal us from all sickness. And that's some of the benefits of also knowing God in right relationship. But even like praying out disease comes with um, the act of faith. The act of faith of prayer. Prayer is an action. It's an action of faith. Faith is not dead. It's not passive. Faith is actually very assertive. It's asserting yourself, asserting your rights uh, and claiming those rights of what Jesus did for you on the cross. So if you need to pray for some people's healing, you got to pray. Pray in the name of Jesus, command sickness to get out um, because it doesn't belong there if they belong to Jesus Christ. 
Uh, and you can even pray for unbelievers because that is going to be a testimony when they do get healed um, and mir miracles do happen. Um, that's a, also a testimony and pointing to the power of God and that God wants a relationship with that person. So if you do, do need to pray for some people's healing, also point it back to the glory of God. Um, so I'm going to leave it there and I will talk to you later. God bless. Bye.